Hey guys, uh, this is We Terminal. It's a prototype platform and I've got it from Seed Company, which was kind enough to provide it. Um, I believe they saw my um, my prototype of the DPF monitor and they, they decided to contribute. So I'm just teasing you right now with this user interface because this is just a mock-up of the data I want to show once I've uh, pulled it out from the vehicle. But um, let's check this device because it's very inter interesting. So we have this color display, we have some buttons over here, we have a controller, four-way controller with a click and um, we have a micro SD card port over here at the um, at the uh, edge there's built-in Wi-Fi and built-in Bluetooth which will which will make it so much easier to connect with the vehicle with um, some kind of OBD2 Bluetooth uh, controller and there's IR uh, infrared remit, uh, emitter over here there's light sensor built-in microphone and buzzer I believe accelerometer and as you can see there's a 40 pin connector which uh, uh, which should be Raspberry Pi standard. So there are some uh, pros and cons of this device. I've played with it for a couple hours right now to be honest and I already have some uh, thoughts about it. Two huge pros. Uh, first of all it's uh, using uh, Arduino IDE so I'm familiar with it. It's a prototyping and learning platform. And uh, second huge pro, there's a lot of examples over here. So let's upload one of them. I believe this will um, this will show us some cool animations on the uh, on the display as soon as the project is uploaded. We have this matrix style demo over here. And when it comes to disadvantages, I found two. One of them is uh, power supply. There's no built-in battery over here, so you need to have it constantly connected to USB-C port um, or get some kind of battery hat for it. And the second thing, uh, you have 40 pin connector, same as on Raspberry Pi over here, but you need some kind of extension over here because the device cannot fit it's just not in the correct size so you need some kind of adapter or extension to um, connect to the 40 pin connector over here before you ask i don't know how much time will it take to develop this dpf monitor over here but um, this device should make it a little bit faster it will be a nice addition to my project and in the description below this video you will find some more technical specification about this device there's some over here so you can check it out and uh, that's it for today give me thumbs up if you like this uh, first impression first impressions video and subscribe for future ones and see you soon